Today, we go heavily into the realms of speculation with my theory on why the Empire and Republic did not use droid armies. Buckle up guys, this one is going to get a little bit wild. Let's address the obvious though, before we begin. The Empire did use battle droids, the later Dark Trooper models come to mind first and foremost, however, the fact that the Empire specifically did not create a droid army when it had thousands or perhaps millions of industrialized worlds which could have pumped out a galaxy spanning army quickly is worth investigating. Let's start first with a historical overview of the Republic and later Imperial military. After the Rusan Reformation, but before the Clone Wars, the Republic did not have a standing military. Rather, it relied on independent sector defense forces and a small peacekeeping force known as the Judicials. The creation of the first post-Rusan Republic army, the Grand Army of the Republic, was done so at the request of Jedi Master Sifo Deus, who was manipulated by Palpatine's Master Higo de Mosk, known to most of us as Darth Plagueis. Palpatine then primarily manipulated the galaxy into the Clone Wars, from the shadows forming the Confederacy of Independent Systems, which developed a droid army to terrorize the Republic. As the Republic transitioned to the Empire, stormtroopers, army troopers, and other organic troops slowly phased out clones as the main frontline soldiers for the new Imperial military. But let's go back to the Clone Wars, because there's a lot to unpack here. We know that Palpatine and his master planned every move they made. Aliens were made the face of the Confederacy to foster xenophobia. This xenophobia was then used so that Palpatine could subjugate large portions of the galaxy in the name of pro-human policy. Grievous was similarly chosen because he could be the public face of evil. The Jedi were also painted as the enemy to justify the extermination, so we're starting to see a trend here. The selection of the troops used by the Confederacy was just as important as its leaders, perhaps more so, and I believe Sidious used battle droids in order to create an anti-droid sentiment within the galactic populace, and as a matter of fact, that's exactly what happened. Many within the galaxy already held deep prejudice prejudices against droids before the Clone Wars, and this sentiment was only worsened by the many acts of terror committed by the CIS against the Republic during the war. By the time the New Order had fully risen to prominence, Imperial officers who received even functional cybernetics were looked down upon. So to summarize, it's my argument that Palpatine specifically had the CIS use battle droids because he wanted droids vilified and he was successful in doing so. With that purpose, it's understandable then why the Republic and the Empire didn't then use droids themselves. But let's get to the heart of the matter. Why did he actually do this? We'll start basic, then we'll slowly get more crazy. First of all, droids would be one of the most effective means of armed resistance against a tyrannical empire. They can be used as suicide bombers, foot soldiers, pilots, spies, anything and they're easily produced. By slowing the development of droids and also not using a droid army, less stolen or produced droids find their way into rebel hands. The Separatist droid army, or at least the majority of it, was also destroyed or deactivated after the war. Despite the fact that realistically, droids could have been reprogrammed or used for some other purpose. However, thanks to how the Confederacy was portrayed during the war, no one would have wanted this. Which brings us nicely into our second point. Having an army made up of recruits and perhaps draftees helps to further ingrain imperial ideals within the galaxy. Military training itself is an effective vehicle for indoctrination, but perhaps most importantly, by having an army made up of living beings, you now have families, communities, and entire planets supporting the empire. I think it's a lot easier to make support our troops or the rebels are terrorists propaganda pieces when your frontline soldiers are living beings, and usually humans as well. Dealing with living beings rather than machines also means that you will eventually discover force sensitives, and we know that Palpatine highly valued these individuals, converting them to adepts, emperor's hands, or even including them within the emperor's secret order. So just to summarize up to this point, the Republic and the Empire did not use a droid army because both were manipulated by Palpatine, who for the two reasons I just mentioned, 
preferred using living soldiers. But now we get to the wildest, but perhaps most interesting reason. Palpatine had grand ambitions as a Sith Lord. Things like managing a military or even ruling over a galaxy were far too small of goals for him. As I've discussed in previous videos, Palpatine's ultimate goal as the greatest and final Sith was to rule all galaxies in a universe spanning Dark Empire. The Galactic Empire was only a small stepping stone to this final goal. The Dark Empire would be controlled primarily not through military might, but the dark side of the Force itself, hence the name. I think it's clear how the use of droids would detract from Palpatine's goal of maintaining order through the Force itself. First of all, having an organic army means that Palpatine could control his soldiers directly from any place in the galaxy. By the Battle of Endor, Sidious was already using battle meditation to coordinate his forces and exert influence. By the formation of the Dark Empire, his new shadow droids were nothing more than the brains of pilots in droid bodies. Shadow droids were basically extensions of Palpatine himself. They were active in the dark side and he could feel them and communicate with them at will. Dark troopers of the era were also empowered with the force and typically served under dark side adepts. So you have Palpatine physically expanding his reach with these sort of vessels for the dark side in a way that would not be possible with droids. But also remember, Palpatine planned to literally keep the universe in line with the force itself. Dark Empire super weapons like the Eclipse actually had this effect as they produced feelings of anxiety and dread in those nearby it. Now, this effect would obviously not work on droids, so by making them less prevalent within the galaxy, Sidious has cleared the way for the Dark Empire. Empire's force domination. And I know that theory is a little bit out there, but you can think about it like this. Palpatine is a master of the dark side. He wants, perhaps more than anything, full control of not only himself and his powers, but those around him. The Force connects living beings and living beings only. So when you think about it like that, I don't think it's actually a big stretch to say that Palpatine would want to minimize the prominence of those who could stand against him or who couldn't fall under his influence. However, that's just my opinion. Why do you think the Republic did not use a droid army? Do you think the Empire, with millions of industrialized worlds, could have used a droid army to easily stomp out the Rebel Alliance. Did Palpatine just harbor some sort of disgust for droids as we see with Count Dooku in the Revenge of the Sith novelization? Let me know all of that and more down in the comments. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, this has been Eckhart Slatter. May the Force be with you.